Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? Before we start with the reading, I'm proud to announce that the one-on-one -on -one, uh, appointment with me live reading is already available. It's in the description box below. Um, it can be love relationship. So if you have that or business career finances, I love that. <laughs> or you can combine both also. So we made it simpler. You can book your appointments now. Um, however, uh, the whole September is already booked. Um, so we're looking at already the second week of October. So if you guys want to consult, um, this is the best time um, while it's still available. So let's uh, begin with your reading here. I do say Daryl Astrology. Hopefully there's audio. Um, but I think, oh, let me just second this. I do say Daryl Astrology together with Tarot. So that's part also of the um, of the reading. Okay. So you can get your chart in the description box below. Now what happened to my chart here? It got, I got exited. Okay. So let's see here for my Cancerians. What's going on? Okay. How are we feeling? Are we feeling a little gloomy? Can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit only. So a little bit. The moon is in your uh, 12th house. So you may feel a little drained. Okay. So energetically. All right. But let's see here. Um, Queen of Cups. Well. I feel like you are coming in strong as a tarot, with a tarot. Um, the Queen of Cups is a card of um, um, intuition, loving, caring, giving. You know, she is the most sensitive out of all the queens. Um, she's the most giving out of all the queens. She takes care and look after people's needs. She is understanding. She is serving realness with, uh, you know, with a tender, loving care, basically. So this is a Johnson & Johnson, not sponsored. But it does care. I mean, it does, meaning you. Um, you have a very special cup. None of the cups looks like this. All right? So whoever you choose to be with, you know, with the Queen of Cups, it does give, um, you know, like you give importance to a person. You put them not in a pedestal, but you treasure. Because it looks like this is a very treasured relationship. Okay? Let's see here. Um, you are, okay, I like this, you're manifesting, you're doing a lot of things that uh, invites this wonderful energy, Cancerian. The Nine of Cups is a card of a, giving, getting attention, awards, you know, with the Nine of Cups. This is being asked out on a, you know, you are on a day, in a, you're, if you're in a date and you get asked out even more, you being, mm-hmm. <laughs> You got you got him lining up, okay? Because that's what I was seeing. I was hearing. It's like you're on a date, but you still get out, get asked out. So you got the works, you got the goods, okay? Um, this is also wishing that you have someone. If you're single, nine of cups goes to the ten of cups. So there is a feeling of like, oh, I wish I have someone, you know, because I'm ready. You know, queen of cups is giving. Let's see here. Wow. Oh, all right. So, mm hmm. Two queens, maybe same genital, whatever you prefer. But if it's a Leo, I feel like the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. It's like this. Okay. Now, if it's just you and um, this spread right now, for now, um, this is you gaining your confidence going back to the dating arena. Okay. Um, this is you also asking someone out. Okay. You're getting the confidence basically to, you know, like, oh, you know, like I've been single and now is the time for me to, um, to go out and date because the Queen of Wands does attend events. Um, Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups, you're definitely a mystic, which means like you believe in the occult, the mystic knowledge. You do your crystals, you do your positive affirmation, you do your moon uh, manifestation. Um, you do a lot of this whole attraction things that, you know, that people are doing. So you're very much invested in that one, which is good. Now, I don't sense anybody here. What happened? Oh, because they haven't been with you. Two of Pentacles, like if they've been busy, you know, they have, you know, like, they're juggling business, you know, career, paying bills. Um, they're in and out of your life, of course, with the Two of Pentacles. When they're available, they're available. When they're not, they're not. So you will feel like your person is like, oh, yes, and then no, and then yes, and then no. Um, are you bothered? I don't think so. Hmm, that's good that you're not bothered. Then you accept the situation. Five of Cups um, with the Two of Pentacles. What I'm seeing here is that you, you and your person over, well... It feels like they want to tell you how much they feel. I mean, like how much they love you. But there is this cup that they are focusing on right now that causes, you know, um, a rift between the two of you. You're not bothered, okay? Concern is not bothered. They're bothered by their own actions. So this is normally their guilt card. Debbie Downer, she's not happy um, because they keep screwing this up, 
Okay? So they keep making mistakes. And you, with the Queen of Wands, like, you know, it's like, it doesn't affect me. Now, with the Magician, you're your person is trying to do better, which is amazing. Your person right now is trying to get to this level where, oh, let me offer to you love, more sensitive. Oh, let me offer to you passion. You know, let's take out and go out on a date. You know, let's talk. You know, this is a single person. So your person is learning from their mistake and expect them to come towards you. Mercury is in retrograde. This is uh, this can be a Mercury person, which means Gemini or a Virgo. Um, Mercury is retrograde in your third house, which is normally that's, uh, you know, if this is not non-romantic, it's going to be your, your, your sibling who needs uh, help from you. Okay, non-romantic. Okay, let me see here. Like you may expect some message from your younger sibling. Okay, chart-wise I'm seeing here. Now, you have been uh, a little bit um, tense in the situation because what I'm seeing here with the Saturn in your seventh house, um, it may bring you some challenges, but you are not really affected. You're like, okay, challenge accepted basically. See, you're just being patient with the temperance. You're just being more understanding to the situation that it will work out because it will, you know. Now, your person here with the Magician Five Cups and the Hangman, um, they're challenged because they want this, but they can't right now. So you're waiting. I mean, they're making you wait, Hangman. And the Temperance is like, okay, I'll be patient. Whenever you're ready to talk, Five Cups and the Hangman, we can talk, right? Um, they're supposed to be ready, but there is a delay again. So it could be the message that you will get from this person is like, I was at work, I was busy. I didn't have time to text you or call you. Then it pushes it back again. So more delay comes, right? And Saturn, they say, you know, Saturn does not deny, it delays. So it slows things down with a seventh house for you. It's in retrograde. Oh, interesting. Because this is Saturn ruled, Aquarius. And it's going to go direct at some point. I believe October, okay? And then, you know, it's out of your seventh, goes now to your eighth. So there's going to be big changes for the concern in the house of relationship. So you're still hoping here with a star card, like things is going to go better. I expect that my person and I, okay. Oh, look at that. That's them. Okay. Um, your person does look at you like you are the works. You know, if anything, like you're the person that they think of every day. Very positive, this person with you. But I don't know why they're not showing it, Sal. Totally not showing it. But I love that you are still in the optimistic side. You're in this whole different vibration with the Nine of Cups and the Star card. You feel like, my wish is going to be granted. I just need to be patient. Because we haven't been talking. Six of Swords. They haven't been reaching out. Six of Swords. Um, with the Six of Swords now, um, it feels like this is a little bit of a tense situation because you don't know where it's going. So um, it's like, it's not the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm just in the tunnel. And I don't know what to expect right now with them. I've given them all the patience that they wanted. I've waited long enough. And they asked me to do this and that. Oh, Ada Wongs. Someone's ready to talk. Mm -hmm. So remember, this is no contact. You know, you guys, are, you guys are together, but not really discussing the relationship. And here it is. Finally, you know, eight of ones with an empress. And then the magician, I told you the magician is a very proactive um, concern. Your person becomes more active in the connection, more active in the relationship. This is a call to action. This is Sag. Sag can be long distance relationship you met online. This is our online card. Now, this is the delay before. You guys really does not, you know, you don't connect at all. But then your person is having this realization on who you are to them. You're a combination of the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Like for them, it's like you're this perfect human being that they probably would share now whatever this cup is that is behind them that they haven't told you. Eight of Wands with an Empress over here, it's showing that the message that you're going to be expecting from them will be quite shocking because this is about value. This is about, okay, I'm ready. And then, you know, it moves forward, moves forward. But we'll see what this is about because this is a lot of messages that they're going to send you and it will caught you, um, you know, by surprise. So this is admitting of truth. But what is this truth? Because it, they have been inconsistent to have pentacles with the truth. Not that they're lying. I don't think so. Um, it's more of like excuses, okay, that they cannot give you the commitment before because nine goes to the Ten of Cups. So they haven't been honest if they are available for commitment. Are they just stringing you along? Are they just, you know, having fun with you? Because Magician loves fun. 
Okay, but now they would clear the air out. Okay, wonderful. Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. Make sure to book your appointment. Um, it's going to be down there. And at the same time, all the amazing stuff that we have, it's already down there in the description box. I'll see you guys again, Concerns. Bye.